Welcome again. Uh, you have been operated for third time for varicose cell. Yes. Previously, you had two laparoscopic surgeries, and uh, these are one very adolescent age. Like you were in 13 or 14. Uh, I was 14 and then 14 and 20. And 20. Now you are 21. Yes. After one year, you noticed that you had this large vein around your testes. Yeah. How did you understand? How did you notice that one? I touched it. I just touched it. You can hands. feel it. You yeah, can touch it. Also, the pain was there, so I. Huh, you had the pain also. Yeah, okay, I had the pain. Uh, so uh, you find us from YouTube, right? Yes, I found from YouTube. Uh, uh, we have a different technique. We take out the enlarged vein. Mm -hmm. uh, in normal conventional varicoserectomy, everybody is. Is teached like that. They are. Uh, we are studied in the schools in the urology uh, uh, residency to ligate the vein. There is no such technique to taking out the vein like this. But uh, I understand that if you don't take these veins out, there is a very high probability. Okay, not very high. Maybe thirty percent, or maybe forty, fifty percent chance of them not uh, disappearing uh, because. I follow up my patients with Doppler ultrasonography and I see that some of them, these veins do not disappear. Uh, I try to find out what is the reason of that uh, they cannot disappear. Mm -hmm. uh, and I talked to vascular surgeons, actually they said, first laparoscopic operation, laparoscopic operation, it's not possible to reach external spermatic veins and gubernicular veins. Okay. And you had gubernicular veins in the right side and external spermatic vein very big in the left side. Uh, so laparoscopic operations, I sometimes do laparoscopic procedure, but it is not enough. It is not an enough procedure. It's not a gold standard for varicoselectomy uh, because you cannot reach the external and gubernicular veins. It is important uh, if I would do a laparoscopic surgery mm -hmm. before the operation, I do Doppler ultrasonography by myself and try to see yeah. if there is any veins around to test this. This means external or gubernicular veins. So I do not perform laparoscopic surgery for this case. But if there is no vein uh, beside the testicle, all the veins are above the testis. This means internal spermatic uh, veins uh, are present. Yeah. So laparoscopic surgery can be done. And only I uh, recommend it during the uh, inguinal hernia laparoscopic operation. If the patient will have inguinal hernia plus varicocele operation, they do it laparoscopically, everything is ready, so we don't need another uh, cut. We can do the, uh, the, we can do it together with them. So, in your case, we had very beautiful uh, procedure for you. We take out these enlarged veins, gubernicular vein at the right side and the left side external spermatic vein and in the internal part which I was expecting to be completely healed by laparoscopic, two times laparoscopic surgery yeah, yeah. but there was still a, a very big vein I take it out like maybe 10, 12 or 15 centimeters long segment and uh, there are also little veins which I ligate them and now we are expecting uh, for these veins to swell like yeah. conventional procedure yeah. for some period they will swell you will feel them uh, like little veins in your scrotum but can you say does the bigger vein ex uh, large vein you felt before the operation can you feel it has go away yeah i don't, I don't feel it right now so we didn't see it on the ultrasound so probably it's not there it's, it's not there so. okay what about the pain you had operational pain now, but yeah, can I you think, can I you think, say uh, the other pain? Do you feel the other pain has gone, or uh, maybe in the future you will feel? But can, sometimes some people instantly feels that the, these pains have changed, not the old pain related to varicocele. But uh -huh. can you feel such a thing? I don't know because it's difficult to distinguish between the operational. Pain yes, and the okay, and you the had bilateral pain. operation. Yes, you cannot so. understand now which, and it has been only. Three, four days after uh, the operation, I right? think it's day four today. Okay, this is yeah. day four. Uh, you uh, And uh, can you say, is it possible to come from another country, fly here and go back after two, three days after yeah, the procedure? Yeah, it's, it's, it's is okay. it possible? I, I feel good now. I mean, three, four days and I can walk. I can, I mean, it's okay. Yeah, it's, 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 it's good to come here. Yes, because uh, it's not an easy decision. 
uh, everybody fears, everybody scares to have a complication after the procedure. All is possible, so we want our patients to stay here two, three days. If there is any such thing, uh, maybe we will lengthen the procedure or the staying time in Istanbul. But it's really, uh, we have experience in that. We operate people from other cities of Turkey and from other countries too. Uh, so I am very glad we could, we could take out this mm -hmm. vein. Uh, it, the procedure is worked for you, but you will see the results in maybe three months, four months, you will see the best results. I, mm -hmm. I am sure in, in a, maybe three, four weeks, when the edema has gone, you will feel that the veins are disappeared okay, yeah, uh, and we will be in touch. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I, I'm sorry that you had two, three times operated for varicocele. It is not a good thing. Yeah, obviously it's nice. Something but good. at Olosant varicocele, you had the first varicocele at very young age, mm -hmm. at 13, 14 years. It is really very difficult. Uh, I see all your veins in your legs, in your uh, hand. You have tendency to have big veins. Uh, you look here <laughs> in your arms, there are big veins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes. uh, in the adolescent, I always say my patients, it can recur. Mm -hmm. If in the adolescent age, it can have a recurrence more than it has in the adult age. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully it will never happen again. Yeah. So we will okay. be in touch. See you okay. in next week's uh, soon. Uh, so I'll